Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to describe how we do a FACO combined FACO trabeculectomy in cases of pseudo exfoliation. First, at 12 o'clock, I do a conjunctival snip, taking the conjunctiva and the tenon, then dissecting under the tenon to make the sclera bare in the area where I'm going to do the sclera flap. Good shaving of the area, then cauterize under wet field. Don't do too much cautery. As soon as you feel it is uh, become no oozing of the blood, stop. Then you do your flap. I do rectangle flap. The right side and the left side deep enough in this clear. Very important. Then with the blade, you have a lip of the, uh, the sclera flap. Then with super crescent, you go under the flap in the same thickness. A good thickness, not thin flap, not deep flap. And you dissect in the same plane till you reach a clear corneal area. This is very important. Don't stop unless you see a clear corneal area after the blue zone then cauterize and leave it like this with the mitomycin point two for two minutes i put sponge inside the conjunctival pocket that i did then i wait for two minutes very important after you finish this, remove the pieces and irrigate your pocket. Very good. Then I, I take supratemporal position, take my two paracentesis, injecting my uh, viscoat. These cases, I like to protect the cornea in these cases. Very good size of the rexus, very important in combined a phaco trap not small and not large to make the IOL centralized and no post operative inflammation or complications. As regular phaco in these cases, nuclear two to three, I divide the nucleus into two, stop and shop my technique, then removing the piece of the phaco as usual. Then I do with my IA, very important, meticulously, don't leave any cortex to decrease the post-operative inflammation. Cleaning, injecting uh, viscocohesive inside the bag, and injecting your single piece hydrophobic, which is very important. I don't prefer hydrophilic in these cases. In the bag, Very important to remove the visco under the IOL in, from all over the eye in the, in the bag and all over the anterior chamber. Very important in this, in this time. Then I inject the visco, uh, visco cohesive uh, just to maintain the anterior chamber. Then I do my trap, another rectangle, very small. Take it with the super blade. Take your time to make it a very nice size, sharp edges. Open the end first at the cornea, then the two sides. Then with a good assistant, which is very important to hold your flap with non toast and you take your uh, rectangle to ensure that there is a clear cornea and a blue zone. Then you do the peripheridectomy, milking the eye. And I love to milk the iris from inside to make the iris not entrap in the opening, uh, which I did. Take two 10O uh, uh, sutures, then closing the conjunctival like this. The first suture is very important. I take it inverted suture, make it part inside the limbus to make it close uh, perfectly. I close with 10O, not uh, a vicral. I usually do with nylon. I feel it less inflammation postoperatively. I meticulously close the conjunctiva because this is a very crucial step in the success of 
glucoma surgery, closing the conjunctive, removing the vis uh, uh, visco cohesive what I, I put it, then irrigation of your two wounds. Very safely, you finish your case. Thank you for watching.